Hello guys, welcome to another video with Olaleya from One Tutor. I have a question for you. Do you sometimes have difficulty to understand fast English? Do you have difficulty when someone speaks very fast? In today's video, we're going to have, have been a look at some great tips that will help you overcome this difficulty. Tip number one will be be honest. And tip number two will be ask for repetition ask for repetition and tip number three will be form your opinion form your opinion we're going to be having a look at the first tip tip number one would be be honest i'm sure you must be wondering what it is when i said be honest be honest simply means when people are speaking in a fast way people are, you're having a conversation or someone has said something in a very fast way of course could be at a seminar could be uh you're talking to someone well, let's look at scenario where you are in a conversation with some colleagues you're in a conversation with some friends some people that you've just met or some people that you know but they are native speakers or they are speaking english in a very fast way so of course you know you perhaps might be wondering what would you do in this case you might be wondering you know how would you be able to you know uh be engaged in, in the conversation so we're looking at tip number one which is be honest be honest will simply mean that you know when i was learning a new language i was learning italian at some point you know when i don't understand you know what's been said i'm in a conversation but i don't understand what's been said you know i don't pretend to understand you know i do my best and maybe I'm not able to catch all that has been said so you know what I usually do or what I think is best to do in this case is to be honest just say to the people that you're with you know could be a colleague could be some friends could be some people you know that are speaking English you know in a certain country and a situation in which you are you know so I'd say I'd advise you to be honest just be honest when you don't understand you know because there are many times when people don't understand but they pretend to understand they pretend to understand because they don't want to come across as not uh, being able to speak the language or they want to they don't want to be you know embarrassed you know so they would rather pretend to understand and when it's time to give their opinion they might be reluctant they might you know be in a tight spot being a tight spot would be you you're in a situation where you are you know you're forced you're pressed into a situation but you are not able to give your opinion so of course the situation might be that you know since you're not honest that you don't understand you might have a difficulty when it comes to the time of response when you have to respond that you're not able to because you put yourself you know in a tight situation where you know you give the impression that you understand so i would say in order for you to fully understand you know when english is spoken in a fast way and you're just learning english you're just learning english or your level is not you know at, at the point which you fully understand what you said so just be honest just say i don't understand what you said or i don't get what you've said so honesty in my perspective would help you tip number two would be ask for repetition so people are speaking in a very fast manner speaking english in a very fast manner so of course you should ask for repetition you could simply say can you repeat that can you repeat that so instead of you know um um pretending to understand instead of pretending to understand just simply say um can you repeat that can you please come again please come again or please repeat what you have just said so in this way you are being honest like we said in tip number one you are being honest because you don't understand what's been said if you um if you haven't subscribed to the channel it would be great if you're able to subscribe to the channel somewhere down here and also turn on the notification bell somewhere here so that you can stay connected to great videos like these that will help you all the time so we're looking at tip number two remember ask for repetition ask for the person that is speaking to please repeat what has been said remember we're looking at a situation where you are in a conversation with some certain people that are speaking english in a fast manner so you should ask for repetition ask for repetition would be the great tip 
will be the second great tip that will help you because if they are able to repeat then you're able to understand in a slower manner so you should say please repeat that or ask for repetition remember not to continuously ask for repetition but of course you can ask for repetition maybe one or two times in this way you are able to understand something from what's been said so we're looking at tip number three tip number three would be listen to the keywords listen to the keywords remember if you're speaking with some certain people let's assume you hear um, a word arrest arrest of course few things uh, could come to your mind what might come to my mind might be the police might be that a person has been arrested so I've just heard the word arrest you know I'm able to understand and and have an idea of the context of when that word will be used so of course when you are listening when people are speaking in a very fast way remember to listen for the keywords there are certain words that can uh, uh, direct you into a certain uh, context of the discussion so you are able to understand something or where the discussion is going to so if you're hearing certain vocabularies you're not able to understand everything but you understand certain vocabularies so listen to vocabularies some vocabularies you might be able to understand certain vocabularies from the this, uh, from the discussion when people speak in a fast way so in that way you're able to understand it. they might be talking about you know uh, the police they might be talking about another thing they might be talking about the environment if you hear nature you might think about the environment so of course when you listen attentively you listen carefully you listen to the keywords of the conversation you don't understand everything completely but you understand the keywords take one or two or three or four from the words that's been um, that's been used in this way you are able to understand the context of the, what's been said you're able to understand the context of you know the fast discussion the fast English that has been spoken so we're looking at tip number four tip number four would be would mean that you need to show that you are able to understand something you're able to show that you're able to understand something so you should form your opinion form your opinion it means that you have to form an opinion you've listened to the keywords you've listened to the keywords in tip number three so in tip number four form your opinion form an idea of what the discussion is about remember you might not be able to understand everything completely but you're able to understand something from what's been said so come up with your own opinion i think they are talking about these i think they're talking about that so you come up with an opinion at least you have something you know that you've been able to to form you know in your mind you know something i think they're talking about the environment so that's inside of you so if you verify much later you're able to understand you know completely if it's about the environment it's about a certain thing but at least you know if you follow the steps that have been that i've uh, shared with you today the tips i've shared with you today you might you will be able to arrive at a certain conclusion that i think they're talking about something so remember everyone form your opinion form your opinion so at least you're not left you know you're not left without any words because if you're in a conversation and someone could have asked you you know a certain thing you know what's your opinion now what's your opinion now or perhaps what do you think what do you think about you know what's been said remember if you're able to get a few vocabularies you're able to get a few vocabularies from what's been said by listening to the key words like we talked about in in tip number three then when it's your turn to say something you're not just looking up in the sky or you're not just 
you know, it's not a time for you to say, I don't understand. You know, you know, you should have said you don't understand initially, you know, not waiting to the end of the conversation and now saying you don't understand. Remember, when the conversation has ended, it's now time for you to give your opinion. So but don't let the conversation get to an end before you now you say, well, I don't understand. So if, if you feel you don't understand, you know, right from the start, up to a certain point, just say you don't understand. That's where we talked about the point number one, which is about being honest. Remember, everyone, if you haven't subscribed to the to the channel, it'll be great for you to subscribe so that you can stay in touch with great videos like these. Also, hit the notification bell if you haven't done that. Remember, everyone, if you have questions about the video, if you have difficulties that you'd like to share with me, kind of leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you on what I think. Or if you've also asked for certain uh, videos regarding certain problems that you are having, I will do my best to also do that for you. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you at the next one.